Welcome to Essential Mentorship. This is a portal where you can begin to see where your leadership is needed, where it's already been, and where it can be refined. So this first sort of quick orientation video is really just a few notes to come back to when you're feeling like you've lost your way, when you're feeling like, oh, I shouldn't be a leader, I can't do it as well as he or she could, come back to this video. Here are just a few reminders. First, how do you get started in leadership? There are four ways and you can start again today. The first is work hard. Not so hard that you drain yourself, but hard enough that you know where you stand. Hard enough that you can have an impact. Hard enough that one person or two people today can feel the truth of your intent. Two, think ahead. What does that mean? <clears throat> what does it mean for you right now? Can you think ahead to next month or next year or maybe five years from now? Is there a way for you to take some bit of money that you would have spent on something that you really, really want and instead invest it and quadruple it? Think ahead means think about all the people you're serving. Maybe it's just your family. Maybe it's just a few folks. Think about them and think what they might need in a year, five years, 10 years even. And how can you be a part of providing it? <clears throat> Demonstrate excellence in everything. So don't just sort of back away or do half a job because you don't feel like it. If there's a moment in your work or your life where you just don't feel like it, be honest about that and say, I really don't feel like doing this right now. Can we come back to it? Can we revisit it? Tomorrow might be a better time. Instead of, as my mom used to say, pardon the curse, instead of half-assing it, <laughs> just be honest. Demonstrate excellence. And telling someone that today isn't the day is a way that you demonstrate excellence with your communication. That's a good one. And always follow through. You know, good leaders bring things to completion. That's always been uh, an important sort of basic tenet for me over the course of any given day. What am I doing right now? I'm going to finish this before I go to that. We have already seen how trying to do two things at once never quite cuts it. And finally, understanding the value of connecting with others. So this is probably one of the most important things that any one of us here seeing this video has got to keep top of mind. The value of connecting with another person. There was a period of time in my life where I just did not want to be with people. I just couldn't handle it. I was in such a sad, addicted place. I could not see the value of connecting with others. Now I see that not just emotionally, but actually there is science to back this up that people in connection with other people live longer, healthier lives. Connection equals longevity. And God bless, if you're here in Essential Mentorship, you are in a business that actually requires you to connect to others in order to succeed. Understanding the value of connecting with others is one of the most important things that we will always return to here in this portal because so many times it's so easy to forget, to want to back away, to want to shrink and diminish ourselves. Connecting with others requires using the strengths that you have. Some of you have gone through the strengths finder test so you actually know what your strengths are. Some of you haven't and you still have an inkling of what your strengths are, that's fine. Perhaps it might be a good time to ask yourself a few questions before we close this short visit together. What are my top three strengths? And how can I use them to connect to others more in a more refined way with clear communication to amplify my business, 
to magnify my capacities, to grow my reach? These are really good questions to ask because sometimes we forget our strengths and we forget to use them in the ways in which we connect with others. And that will prove to be something very valuable for your business, no matter if you are a professional, a seller of a product, a healer of some kind. So knowing your strengths and remembering that your leadership is needed again today. Do not shy away from it, but be honest about what's possible for you today. I'm glad you're here.